Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. A five-year-old boy was killed, and another child was injured when a bounce house was lifted 15 to 20 feet into the air by a wind gust during a baseball game at Regency Furniture Stadium in Waldorf, Maryland. The incident occurred around 9.21 p.m. during a Southern Maryland Blue Crabs game. Emergency responders, already on site, quickly assisted the children. The five-year-old from La Plata, Maryland, was rushed to Children's Hospital but was later pronounced dead. A second child suffered non-life-threatening injuries. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs canceled Saturday's game and are providing support to affected families, players, and fans. In other developments, at Roberta T. Smith Elementary, students practice daily mindfulness exercises such as the shark fin meditation to manage stress and emotions. This initiative is part of a broader trend in U.S. schools, supported by the CDC to address student mental health, particularly after the COVID-19 pandemic. The Greenlight Fund Atlanta and Inner Explorer have brought this program to Georgia schools, where many students face high levels of stress or trauma. Advocates highlight the program's benefits, especially in schools where access to mental health resources is limited. Students and teachers report positive impacts, with kids feeling more relaxed and focused. In another update, in a violent altercation at the Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa in Las Vegas, three people were hospitalized after a stabbing and shooting leaving two victims in critical condition. Authorities have yet to identify those involved or provide specifics on how the encounter unfolded, though they confirm there is no ongoing threat to the public. Social media videos captured the chaotic scene, showing emergency vehicles with flashing lights outside the casino, police tape surrounding slot machines inside, and security personnel assisting someone on the floor. The casino confirmed the incident, but declined to offer further details. In other news, the U.S., U.K., France, and other countries are urging their citizens to leave Lebanon due to escalating tensions in the Middle East. The warnings follow the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. This event, coupled with the killing of Hezbollah commander Fuad Shukr in Beirut, has raised fears of a broader regional conflict. Concerns are growing that Israel's war in Gaza could spread. Many airlines have canceled or rerouted flights, and the U.S. has deployed additional military forces to the region in response. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.